the college football experience Toledo Rockets 2022 season preview episode on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network presented by WinBet. Bet a hundred dollars at WinBet and get a hundred dollar free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T to claim your free bet today. Hey, what's up, you degenerate gamblers? This is Bill Burr, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Woo-wee. Welcome. Welcome to the college football experience. Toledo Rocket Style. My name is Colby Swiggin Dantabase Dan, aka Pick Dun D. That's not a pick. This is he a was raised pick. in the land down under, where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists. And lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. I smoke and I drink, and um, I don't have stress, and I'm healthy. Ho, ho, ho. Rock and solo, but who cares? We got time to talk Toledo football. That's always a good day when you're alive and you can talk a little action. Action. Uh, the Toledo Rockets. I mean, you gotta love what they're doing, man. I mean, this is a rich program, actually. You know what? Let's let's just get into this thing. Let's. This is the Toledo Rockets. This is a rich history. I mean, I've been watching them since the days of Nick Saban coaching there. I remember Gary. What is it? Gary Pinkle? Was that Gary Pinkle? I believe that was there. Uh, and then uh, Tim Beckman. They just had Matt Campbell there and now they got Jason Campbell, but this is a rich program. You go back even long before that, go back to the seventies with Frank Lautenberg, 12 and 0 in 1970, 11 and 0 in 69, couple na- uh, 12 and 0 in 71, couple national championships. In my mind, those are national championships uh, because we know if you went undefeated, if you don't have a large playoff, you should be claiming, or if you had the same record as a team that won the national championship, you should be claiming that. I don't give a fuck. Fantastic program, rich program. Um, and look, Jason candle, seven and six. They lost in the Bahamas bowl a season ago. Jason candle uh, was offered the head coaching job with uh, not the head coaching job, the offensive coordinating job of the Miami hurricanes by Ma- uh, Mario Cristobal. He declined to stay with Toledo. He's got a winner. He thinks and a potential uh, they're the odds on favorite to win the Mac West right now. Uh, perhaps when you look at last season, a lot of close losses, a lot of close losses and man, I mean, seven and six to go seven and six, three point loss in South bend at Notre Dame. And they were up with like two minutes left. That's tough. Now they had a terrible loss to a three win Colorado state team, 22 to six, but the Notre Dame loss, a two point loss to Northern Illinois in the glass bowl. This thing was, was, was Northern Illinois won the Mac. They were that close to beating them a three point overtime loss uh, in Mount pleasant against the, the central Michigan Chippewas and a three point loss to Eastern Michigan and Chris Creighton. And then in the bowl game in the Bahamas and Nassau, uh, a uh, seven point loss to middle Tennessee. This is uh, really close to a, a, I mean, with the exception of the blemish, the one flat out blemish is that Colorado state game, but really some good play. Uh, they beat Western Michigan. Remember Western Michigan beat the ACC champs pit at pit. They beat them th- and uh, Toledo beat them 34 to 15. Um, that's probably their best win of the season. We're going to have to, we're going to have to get into this, but what they had essentially Carter Bradley seemed like it was going to be the guy. Now Carter Bradley, kind of a throwing quarterback, more of a, a drop back passer, and they they made the switch so, so somewhere in the season there because Carter Bradley, you know, threw for about a thousand yards, just shy of a thousand yards, four touchdowns and a pick. They went with freshman DeQuan Finn, and this guy's pretty electric. 
He uh, completed 58% of his passes just about uh, for, for over 2000 yards, 8.3 yards of completion, 18 touchdowns, just two interceptions, really taking great care of the rock. And then on the ground, Daquan Finn uh, had 112 attempts for 501 yards, just about four and a half yards of carry nine rushing touchdowns. So they got this guy, Daquan Finn coming back for his sophomore season. He was only a freshman. So, oh man, you really got something going in Toledo. Um, He's uh, got to avoid the sophomore slump, but you got to love what you're bringing back here. Uh, if if you're uh, if you're Jason Candle and a, or a Toledo Rockets fan, you you hop into this thing. Now, I don't know what to, what to make of. Uh, I mean, the Mac the Mac West is tough, so there's gonna be that that you're facing. But let's just hop into a surprised a little bit surprised Candle turned down the Miami job, but I I would. I like that. It's like Matt Campbell. I, I think, come on, man, you keep going for better pasture. You know, you probably, you would have been in Miami a year and maybe got fired, maybe two years got fired, you know, and, and that's not because I think he's a bad coach. I think he's a good coach. I just think, come on, what happened to the days? Let's get some continuity going here. So on the offensive side of the ball, the offensive coordinators are Mike Hallett and Robert Weiner, uh, co-offensive coordinators. Last year, they were 26th in scoring offense, 30 in rush off 30th in the nation in rush offense. 61st in pass offense, charting at the number 37 offense in the nation. And they got seven starters back. So you gotta, like I said, bringing back Finn, you gotta think he's going to be better. He's got more starts and you, you, that, that alone right there. Now they took some hits in the portal at the wide receiver spot because they were running heavy, but, and we'll get to all that. I still think bringing back uh, at four of five on the offensive line led by a uh, left tackle, Mitchell Berg. So Finn is back sophomore season four or five on the O line. Your tight end Anthony Torres is back and uh, two of four wideouts from a season ago. Uh, they get Devin Maddox and uh Georgia one Newton back. They are breaking in a new running back, but I actually think this running back situation is actually going to be an upgrade. They get Penny Boone coming in from the Maryland Terrapins. I think that's a good get for them on the defensive side of the ball. Defense coordinator is Vince Karras and Hey, this defense was pretty fucking good too. 27th in the nation in scoring defense, 64th in rush defense. Got to get better uh, 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 defending the run. 22nd in pass defense, but overall charting at the 36th best defense in the nation. I'm sorry, that's fantastic. It's you would think they would have won more games. 37th offense, 36th defense. Those they just got to f- tweak a few things. It seems like win these close games. That's what happens. A lot of times you start a freshman quarterback. I don't care if you're at Toledo or, or at Miami or Alabama. Well, I guess Alabama would be the one exception with, with Bryce young, but even them, they lost at a and M and they, they should have lost to Auburn. Uh, so they, they would have missed out, but you start these, these uh, freshmen and a lot of times close games is where, where you do lose that. So we saw that last year. Maybe they can capitalize it. They got eight starters back on defense, three of four on the defensive line. And I kind of like what they did in the transfer portal. And I'll get to that in a bit. Two or three linebackers are back in uh, Deontay Johnson and Nate Bauer, two of four in the secondary. I think that there's one thing that's concerning on this defense. It's probably going to be the secondary uh, corner Quinion Mitchell's back. Um, but just two of four in the secondary, their kicker, Thomas Clucky's back. If you're in a lot of close games, which Maxion Tuesday, Wednesdays that we all love that it's good to have your kicker coming back. Cause those games are wild. They are breaking in a new punter. And by the way, those Maxion games, why they need to start doing Maxion Tuesday, Wednesdays earlier. I don't like it starting like what Halloween weekend. Come on. Give us it all year. Uh, we're going to talk transfer portal. We're going to talk recruiting rankings. Um, we're going to talk, uh, uh, what Las Vegas expects. And if you're not subscribed right now on YouTube, subscribe to the college football experience on YouTube because we're breaking out all 131 teams do this every year. Um, but you'll see the graphic behind me. So you'll see what kind of already, you know, showing my hand with uh, what Las Vegas expects from the rockets in 2022. But we're going to go through and, and talk about what we expect here on the college football experience. Um, but first I got to get us paid. I want to tell you folks out there that the college football experience, Toledo Rockets, 2022 season preview episodes brought to you by win bet, uh, bet a hundred dollars at win bet and get a hundred dollar free bet. Head over to sports gambling podcast.com slash win bet. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash W Y N N B E T to claim your free bet today. We're also brought to you by odds trader. 
Uh, Odd Trader is a place to compare odds from all the major sports books. You can also compare the different signup codes and promo codes from sports book to sports book to assure that you get the best deal. The app also provides player statistics, key game stats, injury reports, projected game day weather for betters who make the most informed bets possible. It also has a bet tracker, so betters can keep records of all your games, your betting activity, all that good stuff. Go to oddstrader.com slash blue wire. That's odds trader, the number one site for all your game day bets. We're also brought to you by run your pool. Yeah. Run your pool is the home co- uh, competition, bringing sports fans from their social circles together to compete to connect and make every game matter more. Yes. Run your pool offers every game. You can think of under the sun from pick them to survivor to fantasy pools. It's a one-stop shop for sports gaming with customizable features that you really will not get anywhere else. Um, and right now we've teamed up with run your pool to host our own, our own official SGPN NFL survivor contest, which is free to enter folks. What are you doing? Get over there to enter this thing. You can win some amazing prizes and we, we will announce all that very soon. But yeah, you, you're going to win. And it's not like you're going to win a stuffed animal here. We're going to have some serious cash and some gifts on the line. Hop in now to reserve your spot. Get in over at sports gambling podcast.com slash survivor. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash survivor. We're also brought to you by sleeper. Yeah. Sleeper is the fastest growing fantasy platform today with millions of players. You probably already have a league on there. I know I do. They just surpassed 4 million different users. Come on. Uh, but right now you got to check out their brand new over under game. First in any sport, you can choose two or more players that you like and pick the over or under on their stat projection. If you pick correctly, you can win anywhere from two to over 20 times the amount of money you put in. And with NFL season right around the corner, sleeper is the first sports contest game built into the fantasy experience. Uh, so stop what you're doing and download the sleeper app. Now play their new over under game right now on your mobile phone. Join our listener group over at sleeper at sleeper.com slash SGP at sleeper.com slash SGP. And you'll get a hundred dollar match on your first deposit. We're also brought to you by IP vanish. Did you know that browsing online using incognito mode doesn't actually protect your privacy? That's right. Without added security, you might as well be giving away all your private data to hackers, to advertisers, your ISP and other prying eyes. That's why here at SGPN studios, we use IP vanish VPN to make it easy to stay truly private and secure on the internet. IP vanish helps you safely browse the internet by encrypting hundred percent of your data. That means your private details, your emails, your passwords, your communication, your browsing history, and more will be completely shielded from falling into the wrong hands. Even your physical location will be hidden. IP vanish makes you virtually invisible online. It's really that simple. So go to IP vanish.com slash SGP and use the promo code SGP and claim 70% off your savings. That's IP V a N I S H.com slash S G P. All right. We are back talking, <clears throat> talking rocket football, man. I, I remember the days of Wasan Tate and Chester Taylor and all those greats that uh, played with the Rockets. I remember watching in the mid nineties as a kid, I feel like ESPN had a deal with them. And just that, I feel like Wasan Tate, Chester Taylor, that era, man, they were, they were nasty. They were nasty. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, here we are. It's going to be tough. Uh, the transfer let's, let's talk transfer portal for a second because uh I actually think they brought in some nice pieces, but they also, they also lost some key pieces. They, let's, let's, let's talk about what they brought in. All right. Uh, Nick Turner, cornerback from Arkansas is coming in defensive end Deshaun Holt from Maryland, who I think might get some reps um, this season. Tight end Anthony Torres from Western Michigan. Ouch. Going from the Broncos to the Rockets. Brutal. Um, Linebacker Rourke Freeberg from the Arizona Wildcats. Running back Penny Boone from Maryland. I think that's a, a big that's a big get right there. Uh, linebacker Dallas Grant from Ohio State. They play Ohio State this year, so uh, but Grant I do think is going to be a day one starter on this defense with the Rockets. And I also think their last uh, guy that I got here, defensive end Judge Culpepper from Penn State. I think he's going to be a day one starter too. So potential. I think. Landing what Boone Grant Culpepper, which I think will be starters, and I wouldn't be surprised if you saw Deshaun Holt in the mix as well, maybe even Rourke Freeberg as well. So, uh, some nice pieces there. Now I got to touch base on what they lost, and I think the the one thing I got to key in first is that Carter Bradley is gone. It look, I get it. He left. They were kind of changing their philosophy. Finn had had such success. I understand why he left, but 
I will say by running Finn as many he had 500 yards and and he didn't even start all the season. Uh, you lead yourself open for the chance that you could get dinged up and you might need a Carter Bradley or someone of that uh, skill set, a, a, a valuable backup. That could be something to monitor this season. Um, they also, uh, so I think that right there is, even though he wasn't penciled in to be the starter, I do think that's a loss that hurts. I think that actually is, could, could eventually really hurt you. Uh, safety Saeed Holt is in the portal. Safety Noah Hamlin is in the portal. Uh, defensive lineman Dorian Wesley is in the portal. Defensive end Jerry Theodore is in the portal. Uh, running back Karen Lynch is in the portal. Uh, then they lost or athlete Diamante King in the portal. This one was huge here. Justin Clark, their corner went to Jim Leonard in the Wisconsin Badgers. And I think that was a huge piece. That's probably their, one of their best defensive players. If not their best, he heads out to the Wisconsin Badgers. That could hurt. That could hurt a little bit. Defensive lineman Jalen Kreider is in the portal. Linebacker Anthony Kreider as well. The Kreider brothers are both in the portal. Quarterback Gavin Hall also in the portal. The kicker Evan Davis. Don't worry, he was the backup. He's in the portal. Uh, they lost wide receiver Isaiah Winstead to the East Carolina Pirates. That I think that's a tough loss. Uh, you look back a season ago, uh, uh, Winstead was their second leading receiver. So that 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 hurts a little bit. And then they lost uh, their third leading receiver, Matt Landers, to the Arkansas Razorbacks. I think losing both of those are tough. Uh, also, they lost wide receiver Jalen Williams to the portal, wide receiver Jalen Cooper to the portal, offensive lineman Andrew Vault to the portal. So it matters to, when grading the portal. What do we think? What do we think? Like, you gain a couple, you gain four or five guys that you think could be a starters, but you also lost perhaps your best defensive player, two wideouts, and a reliable backup quarterback, and a few other guys that were in the you know that are, haven't landed yet. I think they want it still. I think the they want it, but I do worry about a couple. I think it's it's close to a wash, slight slight lean towards the Rockets uh, in their favor, but. Jason Candle, what do we make of Jason Candle? You think it's a make or break year for Candle? You look at, at what have we got? Forty five and twenty seven in six years at Toledo. He's gotten them pretty much bowling every year, but he has uh, yet to really uh, have have that gigantic season that we saw Matt Campbell have. I think it's a big year. I, I don't think he's on the hot seat by any means, but I think it's a big year for them because they have a they have a roster that can win the MAC. They have a roster. Can they can they execute it? Can they get it done? You look uh, even uh, by the way, the odds, if you're a Toledo rocket fan right now, currently two plus two twenty five to win the, the Mac West. So, Hey, they're, they're the odds on favorite to win the Mac West uh, and, and two two twenty five plus three eighty to win the whole conference. It's not bad. If you think they can, they can, you know, win some of those close games that they lost from a season ago. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, remember subscribe on YouTube because I mean, look, all 131 teams. What's what, what are you doing? All right. We're going to even gonna hit you with an FCS preview too. So, uh, and also subscribe to the college basketball experience because Toledo, they keep a good program uh, with the rockets there. And what uh, Todd Col- was it? Kolasic. I always butcher uh, his pronunciation, but uh, he's a solid coach um, and subscribe to the college basketball experience. We'll have a preview over there of the rockets uh, in, in shit, a couple weeks. But folks, if you're watching on YouTube, you see this graphic eight wins. That's what Las Vegas is projecting from the Toledo Rockets. Um, On first thought, I'm thinking, Hey, they return a lot of key pieces. They lost a lot of close games a season ago. Why can't they hit the over? That seems like they should be able to hit the over. Let's dive into the schedule. And uh, also I'll have, you know, that uh, that the juice. Let's pull up where the juice will be on that eight. So uh, we got. Let me just do a quick search. So it's plus one hundred five on the over, minus one twenty five on the under. Vegas leaning to a seven and five season, but thinking they're not all the way on board there. So eight and four. Let's see. Let's hop into it. Week one in the Glass Bowl. Great, great fucking stadium. Great name. Uh, the Norfolk state Spartans come to town. That should be a dub. No, actually, no, that was last year. 
Um, the long, actually, this will be uh, less of a test. The long Island sharks come to town on Thursday, September 1st. That will be a win. I don't think there's any way they lose that game. Then week two, interesting. Don Brown is the new head coach of the UMass Minutemen, and he comes to town. They get an extra couple of days of rest for this one. I don't think UMass will be there yet. I do expect Toledo to be two and zero at this point. Now here's the hard part because I see a five game stretch. Nah, well, yeah, five. Let's say five game stretch. That is that's pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. They head to Ohio Stadium in Columbus to take on the Buckeyes at the Horseshoe. That's going to be a loss, two and one, and then they they hop on an airplane and go to San Diego, California to take on the Aztecs at the snapper, the brand new stadium there in San Diego. Uh, I think San Diego state's going to beat them too. I think San Diego state's gonna be a little too physical for them. So I got them two and two through the month of September, but they're in the middle of this brutal stretch. So if you're betting, you know, the over the under you two more losses and you're, you're at a push. Unfortunately, I think their next three games are probably the hardest within the conference. They're home to central Michigan. I, I central Michigan is right there. Odds on favorite. I think it's a tough spot to catch central Michigan after playing Ohio state and San Diego state. So I do lean central Michigan in this matchup here. So I think they're going to go two and three. Then they head to DeKalb to take on the Northern Illinois Huskies the reigning Mac champs with Rocky Lombardi and Thomas hammock. The Cobb's tough. I lean Northern Illinois in that one. So I, I got them starting out two and four. I can't afford another loss here. They are home to Kent state, the golden flashes who represented the, uh, the Mac championship. They lost to, to Northern Illinois a season ago. I will say Toledo wins this one, but I think it's a hard game. So three and four, then they're at the Buffalo bulls. I think they get that done four and four back to back away games though. They head to just planty Michigan take on the Eastern Michigan Eagles. And I think they're going to lose that one. I got them losing that one. Then they get a buy their home to ball state. I think they get a win there. They're home to Bowling green. I think they could get a win there. Probably going to get a win there. And then they're at Western Michigan. I think they went out. I think this team goes seven and five. They could go six and six. I'm trying to make a case for them going nine and three for the over to hit. Cause you know, Ohio, I think Ohio state and San Diego state, they're going to lose. If they were to somehow pull off an upset against San Diego, San Diego state, I think you'd be looking all right. I just don't think it's going to happen. It's a far, far trip. I think they lose both of those. And then you got to go to the and Eastern Michigan and Western Michigan. I, I just can't see it happening. I can't see it happening. I think eight and four could happen, but once again, there's no, the numbers eight. I think they're more likely to be seven and five than nine and three. But uh, I think a game to watch out for, which I would say is the sling game of the season is Saturday, September 24th at San Diego state. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I think that actually the game of the season is probably Saturday, October 1st against central Michigan because the San Diego state games out of conference. It's not going to hurt as bad. The central Michigan game is gigantic in the glass bowl. Uh, so folks remember that, uh, it's college football season, which means you need the unbeatable coverage of sling TV starting at $35 a month. Sling has all the big games on the biggest channels like ESPN, ESPN two, ESPN three, sec network, ACC network, Fox, and the big 10 network all for the best price. You can stream it on any device too. You can record up to 50 hours with included DVR space. You can pause, you can change your service at any time. Check out sling.com for special offer sling the live TV. You love for a price you'll love. Try us today. So yeah, that's my sling game of the year for the Toledo Rockets. And let's just, I, I, I'm going to play out a scenario where they win that game. Even if they win that game, I still think the, uh, the central Michigan game, the loss to Ohio state, the loss to San Diego state. I don't think they're going to win in, in the Cobb. So that's three losses. What is the, the odds that they could win out? They have a home game against a Kent state with a dynamic office, a road trip to Buffalo. Who knows what to think of Buffalo. I kind of am down on them this year. But still, it's a road trip at Eastern Michigan. I think Eastern Michigan is going to be chippy this year. So I think Eastern Michigan could get you. I actually took Eastern Michigan to win that. And then you still have a game at on the road later at the end of the year at Western Michigan, despite home games with Ball State and Bowling Green. I just I, I don't think so. I think you got to play the under on the Rockets if you're going to play this thing. 
I'm hoping for Jason can. I'm hoping eight and four. Um, but I'll tell you this, instead of betting the win totals, if I were you and you wanted to bet on Toledo, why not take them at plus 380 to win the conference? All right, because I think at plus 225, the Mac West is so much better than the Mac East. So I think if you can get past, if you can survive the gauntlet of the West of Central Michigan, Northern Illinois, Western Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Ball State, why not just play the plus 380 to win the whole conference? But either way, I, I, I actually don't like it. I think, I think, uh, but I think if I, if you're forcing me to bet on Toledo, that's what I would do. Uh, I, I like the under, I think it's a seven and five team, maybe an eight and four team. I, I kind of right on that number. Um, but I think seven and five is most likely. So folks, I'm hoping for the Rockets. I'm hoping subscribe to the college football experience. Uh, remember we're breaking down all 131 teams. We do this each and every year, 131 for this year, but uh, we've been previewing all 130 for years now. So subscribe, tell a friend. Also check out like our, all, all of our feeds, the college basketball experience. I alluded to Toledo keeps a good college basketball program. I think their uh, Mac basketball is fantastic. Subscribe over there. Uh, it's right now. What is it? Preseason football time. The, I, I cannot recommend this enough. Check out the sports gambling podcast. They're going through all 32 NFL teams. If you're a Bengals fan, if you're a Browns fan, if you're a Steelers fan, uh, whoever your team is, they're doing a solo episode for all 31 or, or all 32 teams in the NFL. Uh, they'll go over win totals. They'll go over fantasy projections. And then look, your fantasy drafts right around the corner. Check out the fantasy football gambling podcast. Uh, MLB happening right now. Cleveland Indians, Cincinnati Reds doing it. Check out the MLB gambling podcast. Uh, what else is going on summer? CFL. Check out the CFL gambling podcast. Nathan Rourke's tearing it up. He's a former Mac quarterback, played for Ohio. He's up there in the, the BC Lions tearing it up. Check out the CFL gambling podcast, the USFL gambling podcast, which I host with a couple other buddies from the college football experience. We like some USFL action, uh, but check us all out. We got just a ton of great content. The MMA gambling podcast, the uh, NBA gambling podcast, the what well, world cups this year. Check out the soccer gambling podcast, the MLS gambling podcast, NHL. You go on and on and on. Just get the app. Uh, or, and, and there's nothing better than sweating out bets with, with, with the crew. I might be solo today, but still hop in the sports gambling podcast.com slash discord. It is great to just get there and bullshit. If you're talking about a Toledo basketball game or football game, or maybe it's a Browns game, who are they going to start? Should I take them with the points? You know, a lot of times I'll be at somewhere out in life where, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's uh you know, I got, I got to uh, go to the DMV. I'm in line at the DMV for four hours. Well, guess what? I'm sitting there on my, on my phone in the discord channel talking about who should I bet today? Should I bet the Atlanta Braves minus one run and a half? Check it out. It's a lot of fun folks. All right. But subscribe to the college football experience. We appreciate you listening. Go rockets. This is the college football experience to lead a rocket style. You better start thinking about yours and we out of here. I didn't come here to study. I didn't come here to study. He really sucks. He really sucks. Uh, I think tide turning, I, see, as I remember, I'm right from the desert, but tides kind of, it's easy to see a tide turn. Did I say those words? Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. And you come in with the best college football team in the land. Coaching, our, we're our, our coaching did a horrible job. The players did a horrible job. We got our ass kicked in the second half. Well, well I don't get <laughs> the head coach. It's Division One football.